All right. What is going on, everybody? How's everybody doing? Brian back with another live stream, and now we're going to be playing some more Grounded. Uh, been absolutely having a blast with this game. So, hey, if you guys have been having a good time with it too, make sure you guys smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Let's get into this. So, other than that, how's everybody doing? I've got a question for all the viewers. Now, some of you guys might not be brownie people. I like brownies, but I want to know. Are you an edge of the brownie person or the middle of the brownie person? Because I like brownies. I like the edge, the like the the chewy, like crust part of the brownie is is the greatest. The middle of the brownie where it's like super fudgy and chalk, like I'm not I'm not a, I'm not about the middle. I'm not I'm not a middle of the of the brownie type of person. Okay, so we got some uh, we got some. We got some edge lovers in the chat. There it is. I'm telling you, there's just something about the edge of the brownie, guys. That shit hits different. <laughs> See, I don't like the edge to be crispy. You know what I mean? I like the edge to be chewy. You know, like, Fritz, I got this brownie here. You know what I mean? Like, this, I already ate the edge off, as you guys can see. But, like, for me, the middle, like, when you get to, like, the real center of a brownie, it's just too fudgy, man. There's just too much going on in the middle of a brownie for me. Yeah, so when I mean the edge of the brownie, I'm talking about like if you had the brownie pan, I mean literally the part that sits actually on the edge. It's it's too much in the middle. Like I just ate that piece, guys, and and, and I'm I'm literally dying right now. It's too much. All right, so um, it's been a little bit. A lot has changed. So I wanted to take a second before we started this. And explain to you guys, I did some of the grindy stuff over on Twitch. Um, so if you guys aren't following my Twitch and you want to see me play random ass games, make sure you uh, check it out. My Twitch is in the description. Uh, my moderators post the, the Twitch link all the time in the chat. So if you guys want to see me do some some weird stuff that I don't generally do on my YouTube channel, like play World of Warcraft, you know, do grindy stuff that I don't really want to be a part of the series because it just takes a lot of time. We do it over there. So I, I did some base building, guys. I did some base building. Um, you guys can already see a little bit of the layout right here in front of you. Vic with the super chat edge all the way. See, that's what I'm talking about. We got some edge lovers in the chat. Um, but yeah, we got we got some base stuff done. I think you guys are gonna think you're. I, I I hope you, I hope you guys are proud of me. All right, because I'm proud of me. All right, let's do it, guys. Here it is. So here is the base, guys. I'm 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 gonna. All right, close your eyes, chat. Close your eyes. There you go. Close your eyes, chat. I'm going to show you guys the base. Are you ready? No, I should have got ready. There it is, chat. So this is what we've done so Edges far. All the way. I couldn't I couldn't trust chat to close your eyes, so I had I had a, I had a pokey and I had to close it for you. <laughs> close your eyes. Um, so this is the base. This is I, I mean, I still got to build the second floor. There's still a lot more I have to do, but um This is just the start. All right So I built a bridge so we no longer have to deal with the stick um, You see what I'm, I, I think this is this came out really really well, you know, what I mean we've got to jump here But we built a little bridge, you know, we come out across Got my little grass door so this front area here, this is going to be like my little workshop where I do all my crafting. I got chests that are literally only going to be for crafting. Um, you know, I got my, my my smithing stone here. We're going to be building a grinder here. I'll have some grinding resources there. And then when we come here, I, I even blocked off the holes in the um, in the lily pads because there's, there's the holes that you could fall in and it was super annoying. So I added some floor here, um, got that nice and closed off. And then over here, I got we're gonna be having about three of these running at any given time, and then I'll have chests. 
to hold the the, the spinning resources. Uh, I got my smoothie station along with some chests for the smoothie station. We're going to be building this cooking station. And then we're doing some extra jerky racks because I, I, I'm actually going to probably do some more jerky racks, guys. But what... What I'm going to end up doing is we're going to build them out on these uh, outside the base just to have like a field of jerky racks going um, because not only can you use the jerky racks for food, but you can use them for resources like berry leather. And, and, and some of you guys were telling me that berry leather is one for one if you dry it compared to three for one if you craft it on the workstation. So I definitely want to make sure. That we're doing that. So this is going to be the stairs. It's going to go up and then uh, we're going to have just... I'm only going to go second floor on this middle big lily pad. So this front part right here will only be the one level. But then coming here, we'll have it go up. So it'll be like a... Kind of like shaped like a, like, like a shoe, I guess you could say. <laughs> and this will be like the ankle of the shoe. Now, coming back here, I got to actually finish this today because it's super frustrating having to navigate... But um, we're gonna. I built. I'm gonna build a little walkway out here, outside of the back of the base that goes to the other lily pads. And like I said, over here is where I'm gonna probably be do my extra drying racks. You know what I mean? We'll have some extra drying racks. We'll have some resources over here. And then, like I said, I'll be able to easily cross. But this, as you guys can see, I built some dew collectors already. We built those last. Or we built those on uh, Twitch. And I'm gonna have some dew collectors over here. That was refreshing. But as you guys can see, it, it, it in my opinion, it's come out pretty. It's coming out pretty good. You know what I mean? I, I I think it's coming out pretty damn good. But yeah, we gotta get we gotta get this. Uh, I was thinking about trashing this whole thing here because this is a lot. You know what I mean? So I was thinking about doing that and then just having it come over here. Then we'll just walk this and then I'll just have the bridge crossing here instead of like all the way up and all like, you know what I mean? I feel like it would just be cheaper resource wise because the problem is I ran out of grass, guys. I, in, in this area, there's no more freaking grass left unless the grass grew back. Did the grass grow back? Oh, wow. Some of the grass already grew back. Okay. So... Disregard. We're gonna, we're gonna do a little bit of base building right now, so bear with me. Um, let me let me get some healing going though, because I'm I'm a little on the hurt side. Uh, here we go. So I'm gonna I'm gonna actually cook up, dry out this grub meat. Yeah, I want to get those jerky racks done. That's like a top priority for me. Um, grab this and grab this. And I want to get my... Uh, I got to get the rest of those chests built. I know I had a bunch of the... Uh, so we also learned on Twitch... That uh, you can make a healing smoothie with grass. Okay, so we got some of those healing, and actually, I shouldn't have done that because you heal up when you uh, sleep. So, let me go cut some of this grass really quick. Leave this open. See if we can get this pathway done. Now the oh, I also got my, uh, I also built a collector over here to collect the drink that drips down from here. Now, this doesn't actually drip all that fast, guys. It takes quite a while um, to build up. So you maybe get like one or two drops out of this juice box a day. Like, that's it. And I thought it, for some reason, I thought I'd be filling it up like, nah, it, they, it's balanced pretty well. Okay. Now, 
Now, the reason why I'm wearing the ant armor, come to, believe it or not, guys, the cool thing about ant armor is it allows you to carry more weight. So instead of only being able to carry five grass blades, I'm able to carry eight. Um, so that's why I grabbed the ant armor. It's pretty damn dark. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do... Now that the grass... Let's go. We'll just go all the way out with it. It's fine. It is fine. It's not really gonna save me all that much, and plus it'll look a little cooler if we do it like this anyways, I think. Cover that, then we'll have that like that. Boom. Are you getting any pets in ground? I don't even know. I didn't even know if you could have pets in grounded. Oh, the bloody finger juice. Hey, Elden Ring that was such a that was such a blast. I, I've thought about like going and like playing it like at another point in time. Um. It's just a long ass game. Like we started a second playthrough of Elden Ring. Um, it was like my mage playthrough. But yeah, we just haven't got back around to it in a while. But Elden Ring, that was such a good time. I was hoping that they would come out with like a big ass DLC for Elden Ring. Um, so I could go back, but I'm surprised they haven't dropped any DLC for that damn game. DLC is coming for yeah. I mean that would be dope. I, I'm surprised. Like they'd be crazy to not. You know what I mean? So this is as you guys can see. I, that's why I did a whole bunch of this on Twitch. <laughs> Because it's not the greatest of content, you know, watch me just walk around, chop grass, and build base. That's why I uh, I was doing a lot of this on Twitch, but I, I figured we got a little bit of time. Let's get this knocked out real quick. Um, we got some, re as you guys can see, resource collection is it's on its way. Build a leaf pallet. I don't know how to do that. I don't even think I- I don't think I studied that. Let's get those stacked up real quick. Um, I think that's science. Like, there was a science thing in the Burgle lab that I didn't do for pallets, but I don't know. I, I'll check here in a minute. So what, can you build a pallet, stack up grass on the pallet, and then relocate the pallet? How much grass can you get on a pallet? Oh, it holds 24. Yo, that, that sounds, yeah, that would definitely, uh, that would definitely make this a lot faster. So look at this, boom, smooth. So now we can come out our back door, make our way over here. We got our water. And like I said, we're going to have more water over there and other resource gathering. So what do I need to craft a pallet? Oh. So we just need a couple pieces of rope, actually. Um, yeah, I guess we could just have our pallets, like, right here. Okay. 
And then we could do... We could do the other palette too. What was it? Um... For the weed stems? Oh, what is this? A bounce web? Here we go. Stem palette. What else do we need? Okay, I need four springs or sprigs. Yep, there we go. Boom. So I can just run with it like this, then I'll take it? Oh god, it's so dark. Well, that is pretty clutch. And then, can I also hold shit in my hand and then... I wonder if you can hold shit in your hand, too. So I can get the pallet plus the eight in my hand? Yeah, that's pretty clutch. Damn. Talk about a time saver. A lot of dry grass now. It's not bad, because you need dry grass for crafting. This will help because, uh, that was the one thing I noticed about this area, is there wasn't a whole lot of... Okay, so I think that's full, right? Yep, it's full. Um, there isn't a whole lot of grass, so when it came to base building, it got a little clunky because I was like, yo, I gotta, like, travel up, up past the soda can up there just to get grass. Okay. Now I should be able to hold this stack and read the- yep, perfect. Look at that. So we got like 30 freaking um, grass right there. Okay. Quickly, and let me, uh... You can also zipline grass and wood to your lily pad base. What? I gotta figure out how the ziplines work. Yo, that sounds sick. Yo, we, you guys know how I feel about ziplines after, uh... After playing some, uh... Death Stranding. Yeah, I wouldn't mind getting some ziplines set up. Can you... I, like, set up ziplines all across the yard and just use them as transportation? Like Death Stranded. Alright, let me see here. So I gotta figure out how I wanna do this second floor. Sun is gonna be coming up soon, so I'm gonna just use this little bit of time here. Figure out what the hell we wanna do. So let me see. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. I don't really like any of that. Why doesn't it just connect to the... My, I might have to use a different stairs, guys. I'm not, I'm not feeling that, the way that sits right there. Yeah, see, this would probably be a little bit better. How many do I need for this one? Oh, only one wood stem? That's crazy. Okay, let's see if this let's see if this sits a little bit better than the other. Yep, yeah, perfect. See how it sits nice and oh, where the hell? <laughs> it sits straight. Oh, I can't walk on something that doesn't exist. So is there a way to do like partial floor? Because I want the I want the walls to come up and I, I mean I guess it doesn't matter if this little bit of leaf is sticking out the back, but... Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. Is there triangle floor? Let me see, so let me get rid of this piece. Ah, there is. Look at that. Ha! Ah, look at that. Perfect. And then I could do probably another piece of triangle floor right here. Perfect. Yep. Yeah, this is going to come off. This is going to be nice, guys. This is going to be nice. So this is going to be the second floor. Obviously, we'll have walls, and then, you know, we'll start working on the roof and stuff. But the second floor is going to go all the way across the top here. But this is this is the idea. I just wanted you guys to get the idea of what we're working on currently. Okay, so I want to get some more canteens built. I want to run... Have at least two canteens on me at all times. At least. There we go. So we'll do. Yep. Two more canteens. And then you got. I know. Um, I was told that we can upgrade my canteens that I currently have. And I believe one of the anthills we're going into has the thing we need to be able to actually study that. Drop that, that. See, Luke, Luchi, that, that's not how it went when we were down in the pond lab, brother. We only had one canteen on us, and it was not enough to sustain us. So, yeah, when you're above land, and it, it, it's usually not a problem, but I, like, I'm to the point where I'm like, yo, at least two canteens, though. Like, at least, because it, it, it's rough down there, man. When you're, when you're underwater and shit, it's real rough. 
Okay, so let's go ahead, scoop these up. Okay. <clears throat> What did I need for this? We need to get some uh, more acorn shells. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Clover leaves. I'm going to go grab clover leaves, sap, and acorn shells. Seriously. And while we're doing this, I'll uh I got I gotta I gotta start organizing my chests a little bit too at some point. And I I I'm trying to refrain from doing it on stream so you guys don't have to sit there and watch me organize fucking storage, because I know how annoying that can be. So I'm gonna try to refrain from doing that as much as possible. But while we're taking stuff out, I will be trying to at least combine my stacks because I have I'll have like Clover leaves in here, clover leaves in here, and clover leaves in. Instead, I want to try to just consolidate everything into one area. That way, I can keep better track of my shit. And then acorn shells. Let's see how many of these we're working with currently. Got quite a few. Quite a few more than I initially thought. Okay, let's get these chests built. Okay, we gotta go get a couple more acorn shells and we're done. I took the wheel meat. All right, so I mean, for now, that should be all we need. Um, uh, We'll go grab a couple more because I think there's a couple of other um, things that are going to cost acorn shells. Nielski, thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate it. Um, like the knife. Yo, I would love a knife build with crazy DPS. Like what knives are we talking? Talking like the bone dagger and shit. Grab some of this weevil meat. Pebble dagger? The ant hill that we're about to hit is over here somewhere. Like I said, I want to get this crap done really quick. Before we go. Can't all be fun and games, you know what I mean? Because then you end up stuck in the bottom of the pond lab with no, uh, nothing to drink. And then it, you realize how unprepared 
You are for survival. You know, you. I killed those wolf spiders that lived in there before uh, the when we're on Twitch. Not seriously, I've not killed a wolf spider for real yet, guys. Um, we we got lucky and they were jumping in the water and killing themselves. <laughs> but yeah, we found out that the wolf spiders can uh, jump to my base. Yeah, this is the anthill here that we're going to go inside. Ha! Sean, thank you for the sub, man. I appreciate it. Also, I got to go over to that mint box. I can open the mints now, right? That I have the level two hammer. I remember somebody in the comments said, hey, now that you got that insect hammer, don't forget to get the mint. Um, we'll get those when we head over to the other ant hill. But yeah, I think I can open that now. Or did I need a level three hammer? I don't remember. Able to farm up a good bit of uh, acorns there. Level two. Okay, awesome. Okay, that's done. We don't have anything to build that. This, we need the uh, the bombardier beetle parts. This, what did this require? Some tops. Red ant parts and clay. I was like, why can't I take it? Inventory's full. Actually, well, let me do this. Power of N, right? I am going to have a food chest over here. And this is where we'll start storing our, our actual food items that we can eat. important so I could start taking stock on uh, what we actually have, you know what I mean? Food wise, so let me see. Oh, uh, we can eat the algae. More algae. Gonna be for my slur or my slurpy, not slurpy, my uh, other chest there, the uh, the the smoothie, the smoothie chest, yeah. Okay, more algae we can eat. There we go, so 
some jerky there. We'll go in the smoothie chest. Food. Food. Alright, we're good. Milski, uh, have you been doing molars? So I haven't done, um, I've only gotten one molar piece so far, and we haven't cashed it in yet. Okay. So that's what we're working with food-wise, guys. That, that's what we have. Not bad, in my opinion. I think we're, we're doing okay. We are getting kind of thirsty. Let's see if I have any. I could drink from my canteen, but I want to see if there's any here. Yep, let's slurp this up. It's no lemon crime, but it's better than nothing. All right, so we're about to go venture into Ant Hills. But real quick, let me, uh... I'm going to relocate this upstairs for right this sec. We can build a, a real bed at some point, but as you guys can see, those are a little, little expensive, but we'll get to it. We'll definitely get to it. So what I'm building up these chests up here for, these are going to be like my armor chests. Um, where I can put all my armor and weapons. One will be for weapons, one will be for armor. Well, shit, I should have crafted them first. Dur -dur -dur. Yeah, it's starting to feel like a real base, you know what I mean? I generally, I, like, I, I was happy living on the, on, on the lily pads. But yeah, this just feels way better. Like, to be honest, it, it does. It does feel better when you're actually have a base and I don't know, I just feel so much more like put together. <laughs> um having two extra mutation slots is critical. Yeah, Nilski, we're gonna be definitely getting that. All right, so this chest here will be armor. Whoop. Like, things we can wear. And then this chest will be tools and weapons. Actually, gonna keep these on us because we need that for the uh, ant hill. Beautiful. Got some torches on us. We're getting organized, guys. We're getting organized. But Nielski, thank you for the super chat. I do appreciate it. Go ahead and store this. And let's head into this first ant hill. So I have full ant armor on, right? Yep, full ant armor. All right, we'll repair this really quick. And repair this. Yo, the crossbow is so cheap to repair. I was worried about using it, but all it takes is spider silk, guys. And now while we're out and about, we'll also make sure that we have some spider silk being crafted. Oh, I gotta make sure I put the spider webs in the chest next to it.
Got a lot of this same uh, items that I wish you could like break down items for like pieces. You know what I mean? So the objective of this game, there, there's an actual story that you have to play through, um, and you know try to beat. Uh, but you know it's like any other survival game too. On top of you know the main story, there's just a billion different things to explore, new things to craft, base building, everything. It's a full-blown survival game at the end of the day. Okay, there we go. Now we're good. Let's head out. Let's head out. So we're gonna grab this aphid jerky. That should keep us sustained. I'm not picky. Food's not too bad. You can honestly just find that while you're out and about. We got food. We got water. Um, should I bring a shovel? I think we should. I think we should. Oh, web finish up. Okay, so we got that. We'll have that making while we're out and about exploring this first anthill. Got my torches, got water. We're good. Going by check the progress on this. Yeah, we got some we got some drops going in there. Well, see, uh, yeah, I could eventually label my stuff. The thing is, as I, what I do to avoid like labeling, because a lot of some games don't even allow you to label, is um, that's why I put all of the chests near its coinciding um, machinery or you know item that you use it with. That way, I know. Okay, all of these chests are my crafting supplies. These ones up near my bed. This is going to be my you know armor and weapons. I, I do that type of stuff. That way, it makes it a little easy for me. Um, but yeah, tastes good. Wouldn't mind getting some labels down just to make shit look super, super clean. Okay, so where was the entrance to this ant hill? I think it was up here a little bit. Flash. The shitty thing is, is the all the weapons that I'm rocking right now, um two-handed, so we're gonna have to use the... That wasn't it. It's up here. I thought that was like, yo, this is the anthill? Like, no, this is the anthill, guys. Hey there, buddy. Now, because I'm wearing the ant armor, I should be able to just move freely along, among- yep, we're good. We're not getting attacked. Never really done underground exploration like this. So those big ones won't attack me either, right? Okay, we're good. Okay, we got a little bit of quartz. 
Yeah, we're fully camouflaged. Awesome. Cause those big ants right there, they'll fuck you up. Can we get some stone? Oh, here we go. Oh, what is this? Bugged. Guys, get out of my ass, dude. I think I need to get up there, guys. Probably gonna have to build something, aren't we? I never- I never thought about, like, the game incorporating you having to, like, build just to get to other areas. I don't know why that never processed in my brain, but... Yeah, we're gonna have to build, like, some stairs. There's something. Oh, you can't build there? Oh, okay. So is that it for this cave? There really isn't much here. This is the old anthill. This isn't the, the normal one, guys. This is the the other anthill. The the other one is down here, which we're going to go to. Um, it's like over here somewhere. Yeah, I think it's here. Whatever this missing burgle chip is. This isn't the right anthill. No, yeah. So there's two anthills. I'm only in the the little one right now. And I think that's... That's it for that one right now. We're going to head over to the big ant hill now, though. Okay, so I think... Let me see. I think the ant hill is literally over here somewhere, right? Stacks of pebbles, so I have. Just wanted to get two more, two new stacks of pebbles. I just started a second stack, so we're good. Get pebbles up to 30, and our inventory will be set.
Okay, so we're almost at a heart of candies. Here we go. So honestly, I have no clue what the hell these are for, but... Mint shards. We gotta... See these. Now those don't respawn, right? That that's it for those mints, or do they respawn? Huh. Got a field station over here too. We can go to. It. They don't. Re I'm not eating one if they don't respawn. Mint arrow. Oh, there's plenty around the map. Okay. Well, I'll fucking eat one then if, if, if we ain't got to worry about it. Fresh defense. Oh, shit. I got a... What is this? I will get rid of Barbarian. What is fresh defense? Envelops you, send you a cool wave rippling through your skin. Cells activate a freshness layer, layer to combat the sting. And that of stinks and burns. So we get gas resist, burn resist, and sizzle protection. So will that help me against those bomb, bomb, bombarder beetles? Yeah, I gotta get more of those mutations. All right, shadows. What you got now? So if I keep eating those, will I just keep gaining that mutation? So I know I learned about mutations. When you get a mutation, you just gotta do the same thing over and over and over again, and you you you'll just can't keep. Gaining levels on the mutation. But I wish they had like a little menu that like showed you like how far you were progressed through it. See, I'm phase two. How many... So does anybody know the exact number it takes to get the like phase like fully... Max that skill out. Ten mints for tier three. That's all that's that's almost all the rest of my mints, guys. Okay, Ant Hill right here, perfect. I wouldn't call it hand-holding, because I would have just had to fucking Google it anyways. Because the game doesn't tell you. I would just sit here and, like, eat mints. Or I wouldn't, I just wouldn't eat the mints, and I would never gain the skill.
Where are you off to, Ant? Hey there, buddy. A lot of ants in this fucking place. Soldier ant, look out! Hey, he still can hold seven more rocks. Trouble, Ant. Okay, so which way do we want to go first? We'll go left here first. I'm surprised they didn't make a queen ant in this in this game, especially like with the ant hill and shit. That would be like, I feel like that would have been a good boss. Nilski kill forty bugs with a weapon. Um, to unlock its per got you. Angry ant over there. This place is a fucking maze, man. Look out! But thank you for the super chat, but I appreciate it. Oh, there's something under here. Raw science. Raw science. Science, you are off the hook. This anthill is definitely confusing. Got a lot of stone here, though. Oh, shit. Whoa, 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 what the fuck? What? That's all food? That's OP! Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on guys, hold on, hold on, stop, stop it, stop, stop it. I gotta make some, some I'm space here in the inventory. Hmm. Definitely, definitely making good on food right now. I'll consume this too. So it opens up three spots. The ants won't leave me alone, dude. What did I do? I picked up the egg. Rotten bee shin guards. Oh, Cyan! 
Where are you off to, Wade? Let's do this. Man, yeah, we gotta come back here and just grab some of this freaking hot dog, guys. And does it not go bad? The, the, it, the, it seems like the hot dog doesn't go bad. Rotten beast shoulder pads. Got another mint in here. These dudes got the stash. Where are you off to, Ant? It's hot dog at last. That's for everyone. Facts. Um, I'm gonna drop this because I can stack five pieces of food instead of the one piece of grub. We just got some bee armor. Got a missing. I got the missing chip. How much more of this can we hold? A little bit. Yeah, I could drop all the pebbles. They're the easiest resource for me to get back. Found some bee armor, though. I don't want any trouble, Ant. The only area I haven't gone yet is down that, like, fuzzy hallway. Marauder, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. There we go. Any trouble, Ant? I don't want any trouble, Ant. Science, good Science is surprisingly awesome. All right, I don't want to touch that egg because that will be a bad day. Now that we're getting all this stone, I do got to go and see about upgrading my weapons at the anvil. Now that we got all these uh, additional bits of stone, this this is really good. Like I said there was something up on the ledge in here. I didn't see any. You see up there. Yep, I see the skelly. Rotten bee mass. So, what the fuck is bee armor? Is that like medium armor? Light armor. Okay, well, we don't want to go taking our armor off and putting that on right now. That would be a bad day. Hey there, buddy.
Where are you off to, Ant? Ah, Molar. So this is where that fuzzy hallway would have took me. Oh, shit, motherfucker, big dude. Ant, big ant. I don't want any trouble, ant. Hey there, buddy. What the, wonder what these ant eggs are good for, because there's a lot of them. But you touch those things, and it's like... Hey there, buddy. It's a bad day. I don't even remember how to get the fuck out of here, honestly, guys. And now I remember how to get out. Where are you off to, Ant? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I gotta go this way to get out. Where are you off to, Ant? Hey, that went well. I feel like that went well. All right, let's see here. So let's study the ant egg. Nothing. So that didn't even give me the ability to craft that armor set? Or did I already have- Oh, I already have the ability to craft that armor set. Okay. If this is the armor I want to make, the- the Koi scale armor. That shit looks cool as hell. Right, let's get back to base, empty out our inventory. And then we'll head to Burgle. Actually, I, could, I think I could buy stuff. Can't I buy stuff right from here? I don't have to be in the labs anymore, right? For some reason, I always feel like I gotta be in the lab. Let me drink some water. Yeah. It's no lemon crime, but it's better than nothing. Yeah, the ASL. Here we go. So I got... Yeah, I do got two milk molars we could spend, too. Hey, here. Active mutations. Oh, I need three, guys. Three milk molars. Oh, I gotta give them the chip. Okay. That's fine. But it's on our way. It's at base anyway, so we'll drop this shit. That went well enough. You know what I mean? We got got some goodies out of a lot of stone, a lot of the marble, and uh, I got to figure out how that works because I haven't used that upgrade station at all. Like, never have used it before, so. 
the smithing station. I searched the egg. It didn't have any recipes tied to it. There's two milk molars in the lab? I, I, I got the one molar. Oh, fuck. That's a wolf spider, isn't it? Go this way. I think I got the gold tooth in the lab. I didn't- I didn't know there was milk molars in there. I haven't seen those. Those wolf spiders are so terrifying, dude. Yeah, we'll head up to the lab. If the prop... So when I, I checked the, the bratwurst thing here, and it didn't unlock anything that I seen. Oh, the bratwurst bomb. Oh, there it is. Yeah, ant egg. We also need fungal growth, though. Okay. So that's what the ant... That little bug seriously just pushed me in the fucking water, dude. Now these, will these hatch in the chest? Oh, they will? Damn it. So should I not... That kind of sucks. <laughs> All right, well, we got some food. Um, uh, uh, food. Uh, uh. They don't fill you up like a crazy bit. They're pretty decent, though. They're decent enough. Let's see for something that never rots. Is there any way, like, I remember seeing, is, isn't there a hot dog in the game that, like, I can go and, like, farm myself? I don't know if you can actually take pieces off the hot dog. Uh, so I gotta destroy these? Yeah, I don't want the- I don't want ants hatching in my base. That- that would be a bad day. Um... Yeah, I still gotta research those two items here. Let me see. Oh, those are torches. I was like, why are those stacked different than the other ones? So I'm gonna take a second really quick, guys, and uh, kind of reorganize it a little bit here. Yeah, I think I have more of those ant- uh, so all my bug parts I'll store in... ...in the chest for bug parts. Let's 
fine. So yeah, we'll have this chest here be for bug parts. Yeah, I'm gonna drop this in here, because we're eventually gonna be making that rotten meat slurry. And, uh... That's made in there. Okay, so bug parts, crafting resources, more crafting resources... More berry leather... Bug parts... Canteen... Store that there. See? I actually don't have as much stuff as I thought once I actually go around and start consolidating. We really don't have as much crap as we thought. But the, everything being so spread out and shit, it made it, it just made it seem like I, I had an ungodly amount of crap. I do want to take those out though, because we're going to go ahead and, uh, See about upgrading. I will drop that. Yeah, once you get all these your shit <laughs> organized, I'm like, damn, I made so many chests because I felt like I was I was filling chests up like crazy. And then come to find out I really wasn't. I just had a lot of uh a lot of random shit and multi stacks of the same exact items. So throw the rotten food over here. That might be able to uh, cut that up too. But we'll do uh, just like basic resources in here, basic crafting stuff. Yeah, got a. I, I actually have a. Good amount of stones. That's awesome. So we'll put all our stones right here. Right next to the smithing thing. I'll actually move this. So it's kind of on its own. Oh. So we got all our smithing stones right there. More bug parts. Throw the koi fish scales in there just because. I know it's not bug parts, but it's, it is what it is. Nah, you know what? We'll throw them with the crow feathers. Koi fish scales there. And then voila. We are organized, guys. Crafting materials. Bug parts. Other random crafting material things. 
stones and stuff for the grinder once we actually get the grinder up and running. Actually, I could build this grinder right now. What else do we need? Uh, five amp parts and three... Five amp parts and three flower petals. Three of those... Five amp parts. Okay, so the grinder here... Let me see. So we can make spoiled meat slurry... We can recycle plant fibers into what? Oh, shit. So you can take grass planks and turn it into plant fibers. I could turn clover leaves into plant fibers, eelgrass into plant... That's, that's pretty cool. So that allows you to recycle um, some of those extra resources into more plant fibers. That's pretty cool. I like that. I'll be playing uh, Ghost Recon after this. And uh, thank you, everybody, for over 200 likes on the stream. I do appreciate it. Uh, mushroom slurry, spoiled meat slurry, and then plant slurry. So let's go ahead and queue some of this up. Have that doing its thing. Okay, that, that sits in the, the badge slot. No, no, we, we can't do so much today, Cass, because uh, the game yesterday. I, that means I would have to not play Ghost Recon, and Soma's not replacing Ghost Recon. <laughs> Alright, let's... uh. Tastes good. Yeah, these freaking this is awesome, these right here. We did good, guys. We did good. All right, so that's all built. Um, we do need to get the Bombarder Beetle parts for that. What does this require to be built? Some more wood stems, uh, more clay, acid glands, and boil glands. So we can get that from the same beetles, too. And this needs more clay, ant parts, which we actually have in rope. So we can get that other one done here soon, too. All right, let's head over to the lab. Uh, let me grab those bug parts that I have to research. You guys said there's milk molars in here somewhere? Well, let's, let's, uh, let's research this shit first. Oh, I would have got something better for that, but I think I already know the shit we can build with that. Venom arrows. Hmm, level up. So I already know all that shit. We're ahead of the curve, guys. We're ahead of the curve. Okay, let's see if we can find these milk molars that you guys are talking about. 
We already came in here. Got the other molar, right? Yep, got that one. I didn't even know you could come out here. I'm feeling more sciencey already. Brutal transcription unit, 87. Go give him that chip too. Order number one. Robot, I need you to monitor these power fluctuations and inform me if they exceed acceptable limits. Hello, my name is Virgil, and I will be serving you today. I specialize in cooking, flipping, and grilling. Grilling? A feature useful only to your obsolete burger flipping brethren now consigned to the scrap heap? I need you to monitor these readings, Burgle. And isn't it redundant to specialize in cooking and grilling? Understood. Appending monitor power fluctuations to my prime directive list. Deprioritizing grilling. Now get on with it. Reprioritizing grilling. Okay, so let's give this chip to Burgle. Happy to see a repeat. How can I help you today? I found an auxiliary chip. Ah, more wow. Getting so much science. Hand it over and let us see. Hmm, much better. Check the ASL Terminals of Science shop for the new recipes. I'm afraid Dr. Tully did not program me for dream analysis. But I will do my best. Was it perhaps about electric beef? I have always wanted to have that dream. Why don't you describe your dream for me? Aha! That confirms it. There are two spacers, just as Dr. Tully surmised. One in the yard and one at Ominent. He had a hunch that they continued his work on the spacer after he stopped working for them. It all computes. I do not believe these are just dreams. These are surely your memories. But perhaps they only return to you as dreams. So Ominent shrunk you, and now you are here. Hmm. I am pretty sure you are not an Ominent secret agent. I was JKing. That was a test. You passed. So if you are not an Ominent agent, why would they be sh shrinking children? I don't I don't get it. Why would they be shrinking children? That's not okay. Surely I have no idea. Yet another puzzle for us to solve. On the plus side, your memories must be slowly returning. If you have another dream, please come again. How can I be of assistance? How can I help you today? Thank you. Come again. Okay. So I gave him the chip. Let's go ahead and see, uh... Eight thousand science, guys, that's crazy. Let's I'll see, um... Zip lines, Daredevil... Canteen upgrade, here we go. Can now hold, yeah, definitely grab that instantly. Buff lungs. This one sounds cool, like getting more stamina. We got the zip lines here. We definitely need to get zip lines just for the fact of uh, Death Stranded. <laughs> fiber bandage. Ooh, here we go. F refines fiber bandage RFC so it uses much less ingredients. Oh, well, that doesn't really help. I wanted to make the bandages better. But making cheaper bandages is still better, I guess. Um, and then we'll just we'll probably get buff lungs next. All right, let's go see if we can find these uh, molars now. So my canteens can now hold more drops. All right.
Take that, vampires! Oh, this is that anthill, isn't it? That we were just in. Told me science could be this exciting. Go drop down in the other area. So now I can get an extra mutation. What, was there something in the water? I tried diving down. It wouldn't, let, wouldn't let me dive. There is a hole here. I don't know how I feel about this. Not, not doing that. <laughs> not without a light. Definitely, I would go under there if I had my my underwater gear. That that looks sketch. I didn't see another molar though. I only seen one. I thought you. Okay, I said there was two. Let's maybe get oh, up. You can't get up that way. Oh, one right. Okay, I, then I already got both of those. Got it. Okay, what's my science? Yeah, 2700. We're good. Let's head back to base. We got some stuff that we need to study. Oh, let me get that mutation, too, by the, before we leave. So now I can hold three mutations. Um, I have Perry Master. Um, I was thinking about Rock and Meat Shield. What is this? Built up a permanent resistance to poison? That's pretty useful. How the hell did we get that? 
Is that did we get bit? Well, we did get bit by a wolf spider quite a few times. <laughs> And the uh, Orb Weaver Juniors. So I think we'll rock Meat Shield, Fairy Master, and Freshness for right now. Because I'm not going to be dealing with any... Because I'm about to go kill some more of the Bombarder Beetles. So the Freshness mutation will probably be the most useful. Now we need to go at looking at upgrades with the anvil. Let's grab some food while we're out here too. Some scav some foraging. I am a god now at killing ladybugs though. You can ask the Twitch guys. I, I killed two ladybugs back to back right here on this rock. I did die because I got I got uh I was showing my son and I, I got a little overconfident in one of the fights. Um Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty decent at killing the ladybugs now. All right, we'll let that rotten meat slurry go. Now, when you push N, it should just deposit stuff in the chest that already has it. In. I believe that's how it works. This, so this, I don't, I don't know where the slurries are used. So for now, I'm just going to keep them in here, I guess. They're probably used in some type of crafting. Alright, so in the morning, like I said, we're going to head out. We're going to go get some Bombarder Beetle parts for that. Okay. So the my ant club, I want to see about upgrading this bad boy. So we would need brittle wet stones. Can I craft those? Yep, right here. Brittle wet stones. Okay. Let's go ahead and craft two of those. All right. Select. Upgrade. Okay, so the next one is four brittle wet stones. So it's tough. Thanks, yo. I'm, I gotta, I gotta admit, guys. The this ant club is just—it's so good. It's one of my favorite weapons now. We can make it better. I only grab five. I need one more. That's calling me out on what? I'm I'm a I'm a ladybug god killer like I literally am a god, all right, a god at killing ladybugs. I'm wondering like, should I should I keep going on this ant club? This ain't a crappy weapon. This weapon is god tier. I have Barbarian, but the only thing I don't like about Barbarian, Nilski, is um, is the you you really really suck at parrying when Barbarian kicks in, and that actually got me killed fighting a ladybug. What's well, the best weapon I got right now? 
It's no lemon crime, but it's better than nothing. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you guys are talking about, like, tier three weapons. Like, I'm nowhere near getting tier three weapons, so it, it is what it is. We got what we got, all right? Let's, uh, let's go ahead and throw on my ladybug armor. Because we're gonna be we're gonna be bug hunting in the morning, guys. I think I can make the legs of the ladybug armor now too. I'll have full yep. Um one ladybug part shy. You can be smart, fast, lucky, or just wear some armor. Yeah, the Ant Club is Tier 2 also, I believe, right? I believe- I'm pretty sure this is Tier 2. Cause like, for instance, like, what weapons could I be using right now that's better? You know what I mean? Like, Mosquito Needle, I don't even- I would have to kill mosquitoes, which I'm not- I, I can't even do that. That's just real hard right now. Spider Fang Dagger. I don't have enough Venom, and I can't kill Wolf Spider, so I can't even get that crafted. Then the only thing I have left is Spinger Steer, Spear, which is B parts, and I have no idea where B parts is. So, there's none of these Tier 2 weapons that I can use whatsoever, so at that point I just use the Red Ant Club, because it's the only one I got. <laughs> it's the only one I got. All right, so let's grab some sleep. And we're going to head out. I'll kill a ladybug, show you guys how god tier I am, and uh, we'll be hunting those uh, beetles. Post on. Holy shit, that is a huge super chat, brother. Thank you so much. Didn't get the gov job, um, but still a good job nonetheless. Building fiber infrastructures. Uh, here's you being one of the best, hardest working, most entertaining Let's Play channels on YouTube. Is she going to read it? Didn't get the governor job. But still a good job nonetheless building fiber infrastructure. Here's to you being one of the hardest working and most entertaining Let's Play channels on YT and playing the fun games. Nice base, also. Post on, I really appreciate that. Seriously, thank you so much. I'm glad, hey, I'm really, really proud of the base. I know it's not like the greatest it could be, but I, I like it. You know what I mean? I'm proud of it. And um, I hope you're enjoying the new job. Hope you're enjoying it. I can't wait to upgrade my, uh, the ability to not be hungry and thirsty as fast. That'll be so clutch. It'll save me on resources, too. But I, I really do appreciate that, brother. And Flag, thank you for the super chat, man. Says, uh, so how's your honor after? See, I didn't, I didn't earn that. I, I didn't claim I, I can't kill a wolf spider. Like, I'm not even claiming the fact that I can kill wolf spiders. Because I know I didn't earn it. I cheesed it. All right. The wolf spider got stuck, guys, on the rock up here. And, oh, let me grab some healing really quick. The wolf spider got stuck on the rock, and I just shot him with the crossbow. I'm not, I'm not going to lie, guys. I just shot him with the crossbow, and he died. All right. Let's go ahead. Let's grab the plant fibers. I'm going to make some heals, and we'll head out. Got some heals. Um, got some food. I got some water. We're good to go. All right, let's find a ladybug real quick so I can show you guys how much of a god I am. Like, ladybug's probably, probably the easiest bugs in the game to kill. Hand, like, straight up. Oh, you're saying I should upgrade my insect axe? Never thought of that. See, the, the, the ladybugs now understand that I'm the ladybug hunter. 
so they hide from you guys. They hide from me. Because they know that I'm coming. Is that a ladybug right there that I'm seeing? No. This is a flower. Sorry, champ. They, uh... They're just, they know what's going to happen to them, so they just don't come around. All right, well, we'll, we'll head down to the, the Beatles. The fuck? Should upgrade. Can you upgrade the crossbow? Guys, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can you upgrade the crossbow? Because that's one weapon I will for sure upgrade. Oh, there it is, chat. Let's fucking upgrade the crossbow. Pretty sure upgrading the crossbow probably becomes fucking god tier at some point, doesn't it? Okay, so what do I need to upgrade this? So we're just gonna do a bunch of these stones. Get all these crafted up. Yeah, if there was one weapon that I definitely would like to invest in, the crossbow would be one of them right now. That's level five tough. That's that should be pretty good for right now. Can you like break up? Alright, never mind. We should be good. Boom, we got that. Take that out my inventory. Alright, we're in good shape. So is there is this the only crossbow in the game or is there is there other ranged weapons that are just that are way nastier? Yeah, I'll make some of the upgraded canteen. Like, I'm, I'm not too worried about it right now because I have the ones on me full of water. So I know eventually it'll save me some inventory if I do get it upgraded. But I'm not picky. Ox cross. Oh, there's better ones, man. I thought this crossbow we had was god tier. 
It'll carry me for a while, I feel. Yo, my wife is making something to eat, guys. That shit smells just ridiculously good. Okay, we actually need a bunch of clay. Yeah, come on, dude. I fucking hate you, dude. Yo, this thing is doing mega damage, dude. It's crazy. Need some clay. I'm getting all kinds of uh, mutations. This is where those mosquitoes are. We gotta go down first. I will, I will get comfortable fighting the mosquitoes, guys. I ha I've only had the one fight with them. I did almost kill it, though. But they're, they're hard to parry. Like, read, reading their movements, it was, it was hard for me. And my notes, no skill having ass. clay over here this is awesome we need a ton of clay for um crafting so this is really awesome Holy shit!
Man, I can't believe how much clay is here. At least we know a good spot now to come. That's a good question. Does clay respawn? I'm not ready to parry no damn wolf spider. Y'all trolling now. You guys are just saying that so you can watch me go and get massacred in one hit. Again. I'm I'm the ladybug. I'm not the ladybug slayer. I'm the ladybug god. Okay, there's a difference between just being like able to slay some ladybugs and then being a god. All right. Like, you're lucky there's no ladybugs around. Fuck. <laughs> we'll let that one slide, though, because we got we got other bugs to kill. Um, So I will, I will just let that ladybug chill right there. I got to kill these beetles first. It's all it's about priorities, guys. It's all it's all about priorities, you know what I mean? What do you mean? I mean, you guys really want me to fight this ladybug right now? Are, are you sure you're ready? I don't want to embarrass this ladybug like that. Told you guys. There it is. There it is, chat. You bitch ass bitch. Yo, I don't even know how to fight. Them. Can you even melee these dudes? Because they just like shit on you when you get close. Okay, that wasn't bad. They're pretty tough to get close to.
They're actually wicked easy to kill from the crossbow from range. Is that it? So, we're gonna find more of these dudes. Should have activated them on the um, little radar thing. You know what I mean? Yo, while we're here, should we just try a mosquito guy? Uh, I don't want to die and have to come back over here and then have to get my gear and it's gonna be a pain in the ass. And my ladybug gear is super hard and expensive to replace. I don't. I just feel like right now it's not the, not the best time. Other end of the pond? So what, near the mosquitoes? You talking about, or are you talking about this pond over here, like this real big ass one? Go closer to home and fight a, a wolf spider. Oh my god. The, I, listen, I would fight a wolf spider. The problem is... It's expensive to replace the ladybug armor because I, got, I gotta use ladybug parts to fix it. You know what I mean? Like, for me to repair this, that's a ladybug part and berry leather. Like, that shit is expensive. You know what? While we're over here... Before it gets dark, let's go grab a little bit more, uh, uh, let's go grab some more berry chunks. We're already here, might as well. Is there more of those beetles near, near Hedge? Um, all right, let's snack out real quick. Up, Getting kind of hungry. And foisty. Tastes good. Honestly, I didn't bring a ton of food with me. All right, so let me grab. I'm thinking about grabbing at least like one more one more bit of clay. Yeah, one more stack of clay. Yeah, I mean I could camp over here for the night. I could make a quick little fire, you know, cook up some aphids and you know. Forge up some mushrooms and shit. I'm not really worried about going back in that sense. My inventory is just getting full of clay. Three more. Here we go. Can eat this shit right here. Moist, how you doing? So I feel like I'm I'm I'm, I'm all right, you know what I mean when it comes to food. There we go. I gotta make I gotta make sure we have enough space for some of these berries too.
Hey, Kevin, good luck, brother. Yeah, well, the Bratwurst Bomb, the, the thing about the Bratwurst Bomb, guys, is I need um, fungal parts or some shit. Don't, and I don't know what that even means. So, I haven't seen any fungal. Yeah, I don't even know what that means. I haven't seen any fungus. How we looking inventory wise? Okay, we got two stacks, almost a berry leather. A lot of bug parts. There we go. So we got... I miss it. A bunch of berry. Now you guys said on the other side of the lake, so what if I go this way? Will I be able to find more of those beetles? I pick out this ladybug. I didn't get the stun on the last one. That's why I, got, I was actually super surprised I got hit there. Generally, you get the stun on the, the fourth time you down them. But I got it on the fifth time, that one. I actually never really spent a whole ton of time on this side of the yard. Check out that firefly. Whoa, a yoked bird action that? figure. All right, shadows. What you got now? Oh, fuck. Was that a wolf spider? My ass almost walked right up on that shit, dude. And you guys, you guys fucking knew that was there. You guys knew that was there.
Where these beetles, beetles at, guys? There they are. Here, you little shit. Come on, dude. Fuck out of here. Good, that's what you get. Got him. I do for my help right now. I need to get some sap. I can make some bandages. I gotta start carrying some bandages around on me now that I got the uh I'll probably take one more beetle as long as we don't take unnecessary un any more unnecessary damage. That was dumb. No reason for me to get hit right there. Got one more beetle. Tempted to take it out, but then I don't want to die. Yeah, we got the smithing station, uh, Max. We've been upgrading some of our stuff. Yeah. Hmm. Watch my stamina. I knew I should have went up on the other side. It's all good. My armor's gonna take a pretty big hit there. But... 
We got the extra ladybug in, so it shouldn't be a big deal repairing our armor. And we farmed up some leather. It's not the circumstances I want to fight a mosquito under, I'll tell you what. I got a crossbow with one bolt. Better still be here, you stupid ants. Okay, so now I guess it really wasn't a bad thing that we died, right? So just minus the uh, durability loss of my armor. One, thank you so much for the super chat, brother. I really do appreciate it, man. Your personal lollipop? What flavor is it? Is it a Tootsie Pop? Is it a Blow Pop? Does it have gum inside of it? Is it one of the big swirly lollipops? <laughs> Alright, we got, we got, I think we got what we need. Alright. That was a good haul. And I think we should have enough to make the jerky racks. I think it's time, guys. I'm super petrified of wolf spiders. Um, so I think it's time to go home, store our stuff, reset our spawn location, and fight some wolf spiders. Like, in melee. That was refreshing.
It's only it, it's the you know, I and I got to take my own advice. You know what I mean? When I when I tell you guys, you know, in games like State of Decay, the only way you're gonna get better at fighting plague perils, right, is by fighting plague perils. The only way you're gonna get better at Lethal Zone is by playing Lethal Zone. I'm not getting any better at dealing with wolf spiders by just avoiding them. You know what I mean? And also fighting it at, in the middle of the night, I don't think it's a good idea either, but... Okay, so we'll come here. Explore that. Hell yeah, see? Now let's get these, um... Let's see, what do we need for these? I should have built these, bomb, the, the beetle parts. Okay, so the jerky racks are done. Now, this is where we can do the berry leather, right? Hang our berry letters, get these one for one. Let those sit. Gotta get the light turned on, man. It's dark in here. Okay, so now we need an acid gland, two clay, and some wood stem. So we'll be able to get our, our kitchen done, too. Oh, so I got some acid glands here. Two clay. Should have grabbed the clay while we were over here. I think we needed clay for this also, didn't we? And nine wood stems, and this just needs rope and... Now, I believe you guys said that the rope is also... cheaper to craft on the, um... The spinning wheel here, right? Just need some plant fibers. Just obviously takes time. Four red ant parts, and we should be good. Oh, I only had, uh, I was gonna say, I only had two? Stop doing that. Is 
So this is going to take a little bit to cook up. I'm going to grab some sleep, and then we'll head out and fight. Practice fighting the wolf spider in the morning. Well, actually, no. It's about to be sunrise anyway, so we'll just deal with it. So, what weapon w would you guys say is best for the wolf? So, first of all, I'm definitely going to switch this off and grab the poison. And then... Data... Wolf spider... Chopping, slashing. So I should probably use the axe. Upgraded too. Let me see if I can upgrade this axe a little bit. Okay, so we got our axe upgraded. Wish me luck, guys. Now let's be real, chat. Are these things pretty hard to fight? I should have my weevil shield, actually. Yeah, since I'm fighting him with the, uh... This kind of sucks. I actually need a lot more grass. Did I, I think I, I didn't reset my spawn point, did I? Nope, it's set. Okay, we're good. Black, come back with your shield on. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're, we're doing it, dude. Shield time. Um, ah, you know what? Let's go full. We can go full ladybug now, too. Nice and safe. I'm not really going to worry too much about healing items. Because of, uh... It's gonna be expensive, and I don't want to waste it on practice. Where these some bitches at? Usually they're walking around, man. I'm gonna go check their den. Maybe they already went in the den. Now, if I shoot one, I'll only have to fight one, right? But it's not gonna, like, aggro both of them. Might have already went back to its... ...lair. Remember the fuck the entrance to the wolf spider lair was. Where there was one up oh, there, it is. I see it. Yep, there he is.
Should I just go in there and fight him? Is this one? I need more space. I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get more space. What was that? It attacked me like four times in a row. They're fast, yo. There's like no outrunning them dudes. Either. Like you can't get the fuck away from them. I put the mutation on. I bended that shit, guys. If not, I would have died instantly when he bit me. Fuck, I might just fight this dude here, man. There's like no space. I see it. Well, at least I, I I I could see two of his attacks. I don't, I don't see how you're, that multi-attack is fucking OP, dude. So it seems like he goes boom, 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 boom. One, two, three, pause, boom. One, two, three, pause, boom. I'm 
Okay. This next fight, I'm not even going to try to hit him. I'm just going to try to parry him, guys. I have the mutation on. Can you still get... Now, you know how perfect block stops you from getting any damage? Um, now, does regular block still prevent you from getting poisoned? Or can you still get poisoned through regular block? Okay. So then that, that will work out good then. So what I could do here... I mean, I, st I still want to learn how to parry that. I love this backpack. all my stuff. Multi hit is so hard to see, man. Broke. I mean, at this point, I don't even need to, like, realistically, I should probably not even have my armor on. Uh, the shield definitely needs to happen, though. Especially because I'm just practicing. I'm over here just wasting resources on my freaking armor. Uh, 
The weevil shield, though, that need I need definitely need to fix that. Rest of the armor we don't even need. We're just gonna fight it with no armor. Ah oh, yes! I love this backpack. It's fast, bro. Nothing better still be here, All my stuff. <laughs> Don't think my go to spider elimination strategy is going to be much use on that. Don't think my go-to spider elimination strategy is going to be much use on that. Multi hit, guys. Thing better still be here, you stupid ants. A multi hit. Fuck. Ah, oh, yes. I love this back.
something better still be here. <laughs> don't think my go to spider Oh fuck, I didn't think he would jump through the wood. Since I didn't lose all my stuff. Poison, man. Nothing better still be here. The end of the rope back. Realistically, don't even need a shield. My axe is almost done, though. <laughs> don't think my go-to spider elimination strategy is gonna be much use on that. <laughs> my axe is broke now. Don't think my go-to spider elimination strategy is gonna be much use on that. Well, I tried, guys. I tried. Geared up. To get some fangs, so. Me, uh, I still want to get that other one, but I want to fight him because now, now I feel like I fought him with no healing, no nothing. Need another weevil, though. I feel like if I if I had, you know, actual stuff, to heal back up and shit like that, that obviously I could probably do a little better. I can't even find a damn weevil. Now, this ant club wouldn't really do shit to that wolf spider, right? No, it will. He's only resistant to stabbing. I wonder the so do you think the ant club is worse than the axe though? Against the wolf spider? Well, yeah, because he's weak to chopping, so obviously chopping's going to do more damage. I was I, I was mainly hoping for, like, the stuns, you know what I mean? Like, stunning them. Okay, no weevils anywhere, seriously? There's one. I was like, dude, the user, I have a bunch of weevils over here, man.
Yeah, I'm running Chopper right now. I'm running the Chopper mutation currently. All right, hopefully he's back at full health now. So, uh, I got I, I would like to like fight him straight up. So how do I get that poison, um, resistance to be higher? Like, how do I upgrade this? Mine's only phase one. Do I gotta kill wolf spiders or do I gotta get killed by wolf spiders? Like, what makes you increase that? George, brother, how you doing today, man? Silent 2 Remake just got, uh, announced. When is it dropping? Because uh, I, I I did see something about Silent Hill was going to be doing a uh, a thing on IGN. When is that dropping, brother? Did they say? Kill Wolf Spiders to upgrade? <laughs> Asic said you'd be level 3 if it was getting killed by him. <laughs> no, no release date. Yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool. Definitely going to be playing that for sure. Exclusively PS5? Or, oh, that sucks. Shit in here. There it is. There it is, guys.
We're getting there, right? <clears throat> See, now I know if, if I'm geared up a little bit, I can fight it. You know what I mean? And and that that's mainly what it was, is I practiced with no gear. You know what I mean? No no armor, no nothing. And then once I put armor and have healing on, you know, it feels way, way easier now. You know what I mean? So we got some fangs there. We still got to get more poison, though, man. We got to farm them dudes for poison. I got some more sap in here, right? Yep. Alright, so I'm gonna try to craft up some of those bandages. They should be cheaper now. One for- oh, there we go. One for one. I like that. So we'll do... That was a really good, uh... Upgrade there. Now go kill the- I don't even know what the hell a broodmother is. I have not made my new canteens yet. Let me see, what does that require? Is it just the same crafting as the old canteens? Tastes good. Alright, let's see here. Canteen plus. Uh, okay, yeah, so we just need some rope. Oh shit, why did I do that? I just wasted so much grass. I forgot I, uh, I made these ropes over here. Forgot. Yeah, I completely forgot. I freaking already had made of ropes, but what can you do? So we'll just craft two of these. And I should be good on canteens now. I got the upgraded canteens. That's eight drops of water. Eight drops. Yeah, that means we can go definitely back into Pond Lab, no problem, when it comes to uh, drinks. This I should have a ton of uh, water droplets out here. Yep, there it is. So I can't make the fang dagger, I think, though, until I get more poison. So are the daggers pretty good weapons? Do you know, like, yeah, spider fang dagger. I need four freaking spider venom. Can you get spider venom from the 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 uh, orb weaver juniors? Is it only wool spiders that give the the venom? No, only... Damn it. Maybe we can get the mosquito needle here. So 
Just wolves. That's what I, that's what I figured. Let's finish up this cooking station here. Uh, take me two seconds. I just gotta go cut down one of these weeds. Get some food in me. Yeah, I got that right there. Collect some juice from it. Got a good amount of weed stems here. Is that another wolfy boy? Damn, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. Wolfie's making house calls now. <laughs> Don't, did you see how much practice it took me to be able to fight those things? actually uh, cooked up pretty quick. I didn't have it in me. I had to, I had to work hard for that. I think my, my bed is still up near the wolf spider den. Flash. That took hard work training. I was in the hyperbolic time chamber for like six months. There it is. Huh? 
Come on, bro. Oh, I was about to say. So let's see here. What we're going to do is B here, this. Oh, shit, I'm out of grass. why I thought the pallet was full. Yo, the chopper perk even helps when it comes to chopping down grass. It would take four hits last time to uh to do that and now I'm cutting it down in three or maybe it's because I upgraded the axe that's actually probably why because I upgraded the axe never mind disregard Little brother, I just killed legit little brother. I legit just killed like Yeah, how many wolf spiders did we just kill? All of all of them. We just killed we killed all the wolf spiders, bro. Like I can't even put a number on it. We all of them. Yeah, in melee, bro. Just, just, mm, boom. I was proud of myself. Yeah, there, th we 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 practice, bro. We actually spent a good like ten minutes just sitting there one v one in the wolf spider, over and over again. I died every time, and then eventually I just I started to get it. I got the vision, bro. The vision. Okay, there we go. That's coming along relatively nice. Let me see. Yeah. That's, that'll work. Just thinking about... Hmm. Nah, it should be good. Yeah, it should be good.
All right, let's grab that. That. What time is it? Uh. Yeah. So how do you? Th that's one thing I was gonna actually just ask. Kick is you can build lights, right? Because getting some lights set up in here for nighttime would definitely be for really nice. Let me see. Um, crafting. We can make a basketball hoop. Plant lamp. Got the si slime mold scon sconce. Uh, whoa, you can make like furniture and shit. Tables, armor dummies, fences. This one seems like probably the best. It'll run like a torch. Okay, so let me see here. Oh, I forgot when you're creating base shit, you actually have to have the stuff on you. So what do we need for this? Some sprigs, dry grass, and sap. I know I have a good amount of dry grass already. Got a good amount of sprigs here, and some sap. I actually might need to go out and grab a bit more sap. Let me see. How many can I do right now? So I'll do one over here. Right. Do one over here. Be like one right there. One right. No, I don't like that one. I'll take it down after. One right there. One right there. Boom. Boom. That was refreshing. Alright, let's build as many as we can really quick. Boom. Definitely gonna have to go get some sap. I don't know, it's only one sap actually. So we got torches all throughout the bottom. So you want the arrow facing out, right? When you're building up your walls. This one here, I'm going to swap for a... Windowed wall. Gotta have a little bit of a view, you know what I mean? Whoops.
And guys, I want to thank you for over 350 likes on the stream. I appreciate it. Damn, our stamina is dog shit right now. It's also because I'm wearing uh, the ladybug armor too, I'm pretty sure, right? That lowers your swing stamina. I gotta eat something real quick. Definitely want to uh, get that trait to lower, like, hunger and thirst. Even though it doesn't seem like super top, like, that shit will come in clutch. I didn't eat it. I, I hung it up. I, don't, I think I hung it up. Raw Weevil. Yeah, the things you could do with leaves. Little brother, you're still here, so let me see. I'll, I'll try to see if I can find another wolf spider. I don't know how fast they respawn. Oh, yeah, there's one in here. I might die, though. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't mastered them 100% yet. <laughs> don't think my go-to spider elimination strategy is... <laughs> Him, boy. Do we get another poison? See, yeah, there's they're skimping me on the poison, guys. It's not a guaranteed thing. We got them, guys.
Or the tree behind the pond. Well, I don't feel like... Sam, I don't feel like I'm a confident wolf spider hunter, guys. Like, you know, I don't think I'm at that level yet where I can just go out hunting wolf spiders for sport. <laughs> You know, now we're just, we're just, I feel like we're at the, if we do ha, ha, tend to, like, encounter one, we don't have to run away in fear that, you know, we can handle business if we have to. We're just, we're just, uh... We had to make it sure that we could we could we could uh, defend ourselves. Cause I hate that in games, uh, you know. And I tell you guys this, like I said, when I, I I coach, you know, when it comes to state of decay, all the time. Like you want to make sure that you know you practice and you're comfortable in most situations. And I was not comfortable in situations with wolf spiders, any spiders really. I was just like, nah, dude. <laughs> And I didn't like that feeling. I felt like I was, I don't know, not myself. It just felt bad. So it took a little time, practice, you know. I'm, I am a ladybug killing god, though. I am a ladybug killing god. Motherfucking bitch. How do you turn these suckers on? Oh. Dario, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate it. Guys, the base is coming along nice, in my opinion. I, th I think it's coming along pretty good. Yo, the orb weavers, D yeah, those things were those were the the first spider I I overcame. Um, those ones are easier because they don't have a poison attack. No women crime, but it's better than nothing. So those ones are a bit easier to overcome. The wolf spiders, though, they just do insane amounts of damage. It's kind of crazy. Oh, so we got that down. Okay, so I'm trying to think of what is our goals now. I feel like I've accomplished so much more. I could make this insect bow, guys. Now the crossbow's good. You know what I mean? Does mega damage, but the insect bow. I know the firing rate is literally like quadruple that of the crossbow. So can you technically do more damage with the bow compared to the crossbow? 
Yeah, we gotta get back down in the pond lab. Yeah, that's for sure. The crossbow is... So would you guys say the crossbow is still better than the insect bow? Because that's the only thing is that it's the fire rate, man, on the crossbow that, that, that gets me. And it's like, I feel like I could shoot like three, three arrows out of, a, out of the regular bow in the time it takes me to shoot one bolt out of the crossbow. You know what I mean? So that that's what I'm I'm sitting here trying to figure. I mean, we could just test it, but then I would have to waste wolf spider fangs. I don't know. I'm kind of. I guess it wouldn't be a waste, seeing as I I, I mean I've been I got I kind of have wolf spiders on farm a little bit. So you know what? Let's try it. Let's try the bow. It doesn't hurt to craft one, you know what I mean? I, I don't want to never just not try it, you know what I mean? It feels so weird playing a game now in first person after playing in third person for so long. It looks so much bigger. Like, everything looks so much bigger. I'd have to relearn how to play the game. That would be a good test. The stink bug. Yeah, can you change the FOV? Yeah. Whoop. Stuck on a fucking tree branch thing. Is 
It wasn't bad. I feel like it hit pretty good. And I was, you know, with regular low-level arrows and an unupgraded bow. Now we'll swap over to the crossbow. And this is an upgraded crossbow. Did I not grab my stink bug parts? I didn't. I'm such an idiot. See how hard this one hits. Shadows, what you got now? No, 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 come back. What? How did I get the bow out? How did I even swap weapons? Or did I not equip the... That was weird. So that went relatively well today. The one thing that we need to practice... Um, that was refreshing. For next time is mosquitoes. Yeah, I didn't bring my gas mask because I didn't plan on fighting. Uh...
God. Ladybug killing God. Yeah, I think, uh, I think it's pretty good. The bow, the crossbow does hit harder, but it's also hard to tell because I've upgraded this crossbow like four times now. And thank you guys for almost 400 likes again. I really do appreciate that. That's so huge. And there's my home. So yeah, we got a lot of, still a lot of work to do on the actual base itself, guys. It's going to take a bit, you know what I mean, to get everything squared away. But I feel like it's coming out good. You know what I mean? I feel like, I feel like it's, it's definitely coming together nice. And I'm happy with it. Happy with it so far. We got pretty much all of my uh, my stuff built here that we started off with in the beginning. Um, we got wolf spiders unlocked for the most part. I do want to try to get that dagger that you guys were talking about. Spider fang, but somebody else said the bone dagger is pretty good too, right? The bone dagger is actually a lot more affordable. <laughs> you know, it doesn't require that... Uh, The damage is actually higher on the Bone Dagger. No, it's be it says it's better than the... Um the spider dagger. The only thing is the spider dagger does have poison. So that that right there would be actually pretty good. Some poison effect. You know, getting poison, that's extra dot damage. Yeah, the poison would probably be better, actually. Assassin mutation? What is the assassin mutation? Do I, I don't have that yet, do I? So I think what we'll do is we'll try to kill... We gotta get another... Uh, we would have to get another wolf spider or two killed in order to get the... Because uh, I'm short, what, I think one poison... I would love a poison rogue build. Like, that would be freaking sick. I'd wear light armor and everything, dude. I wouldn't care. 
It's no lemon crime, but it's better than nothing. food we have. like these little snacks don't really do shit for I'm not picky for food Did I unlock the ability to get spider armor? Yeah. Yeah, we did. Yeah, because I already- I think I actually have one of these spider shoulders crafted. You know what I need to start doing? I need to start using the grinder to recycle. Um, the clover, because we're not using a whole lot of clover right now, and I got a, a lot of clover over there, as you guys can see. Yeah, like this. Let's actually go ahead and throw... Okay, so we got nine bandages. They'll have to hold me over for right now. Uh, so I, to upgrade the insect bow, I would just need some more of the, um, I would just need some more of the little stones, but I'm not, I'm not going to worry about the insect bow right now only because I've, I'm already kind of invested into the crossbow and they're relatively similar in damage right now. So we'll just leave that for right now. So before we end today's episode, let's try to see if we can get ourselves one more of that poison. Pretty sure I'm going to die on this. Damn, most of not respawning, bro. Now we could go to the plank. The only problem is if we die over there, it's so far away.
If we die over there, it's far. There's one on the side of the tree. Well, on like this backside. I know I've seen some orb weavers over here. I don't recall ever seeing a wolf spider. I can't cheese wolf spiders yet. Not yet, guys. I got to make sure that I, I fight them with honor. That way people know that I can fight them. And then once people truly understand that I can actually fight them, then I'll go ahead and start cheesing them. You know, I want people to be able to... Yeah, I mean, this guy can kill wolf spiders. He's just cheesing because, you know, it's faster or whatnot. See, that's an orb weaver. Did I pass it? Because we came over here before and there was just some orb weavers. It's all good. I'll go to the plank. I know exactly. Well, I don't know exactly where that is. It's over here somewhere. But we know that the wolf spider will be there. Yeah, I killed all the ones underneath the tree. I'll, I'll, I'll look in there one more time to see if maybe they're back, but... Yeah, killed those ones. I don't know how long they take to respawn. Oh. Yeah, we already killed these and they haven't respawned yet. Good. Okay, so where's this plank at? It was over here, right? Somewhere? Where the hell is this wood plank? We, we just climbed a damn thing.
Oh, is this the plank right here? No. That's not the plank. This is the plank? I don't remember it being that far away. I guess it was pretty far over here because we went around the lake. Dude, we're like super far away too. This is gonna suck. We fucking die. He's not here, guys. Wonder if he was the one of the ones we killed earlier, because we've been killing like every wolf spider we've seen. He's gone. We've killed them all. Cause so I remember I killed the two that were underneath, and then remember when I was at my base, I killed another one. Down the hole. I thought he was here. He was chilling right here last time I came in. Check this out. I'm not going in there, dude. Totally safe. Not at all sketchy. Hole in the ground. <laughs> I'm not fucking going in there, dude. There's a molar in here. I told you I killed them all, guys. We gotta wait for him to respawn. No, I think he's back up top now. Maybe he was out vacationing. Oh, he's dead. No, he's dead. Right, we gotta look it up. What is the respawn timer on? Well, I guarantee they have a respawn timer. Because I think we've killed, what, five? We've killed like four or five of them now. Two to three di in game days to respawn. Um, I guarantee the one I killed over here was a, ro a roamer. <laughs> it's all good. 
It's all good. We're going over time anyways. We'll hunt them down next episode. We'll finish Pond Lab and then there's... We haven't even been on this side of the backyard, guys. We haven't even gone over there yet. So another little spot here with those uh, bomb art, bomb bomb bombarder beetles. I need more of the grub sludge, that's why I've been... Anytime we see that, we gotta get them. So we can make more smoothies. Yeah, they're dead as hell, dude. See what happens, guys? You get me out here hunting wolf spiders. Now they're gone. They're pulling a ladybug on us. Alright guys, so there it is. There is another episode of Grounded. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. We had a little bit of everything in there. We got, you know, the base taken care of. Um, got pretty much all of our stuff built. Got some wolf spiders hunted. Got the bombarder beetles hunted. Next episode, we're gonna um, we're gonna probably go on a little hunt real quick, get a bunch of food, and then we're jumping right down and trying to finish the pond lab. Uh, now that I have a bunch of water, I got those two canteens fully filled up. We'll better jump down there, no problem. I got my fins, I got my air helmet. Should be no problem at all. So, uh, again, I might do some more base building over on Twitch uh, in between now and then. Um, so if you guys aren't following me on Twitch, a hey, Twitch link is in the description. Uh, you click on that, drop me a follow. Uh, also check on discord. I post when I go out live on Twitch there too. So, um, we'll probably do some more base building there. Won't be doing any, I might do some hunting there too. I'll probably prep up. So then as soon as we start next episode, we can just go right for pond lab. Uh, but we'll see. We'll, we'll see. I'm going to do probably hunting in the water. I'm going to head in the water and just, uh, use the, pebble blade there and kill some tadpoles uh but again thank you thank you guys i really do appreciate everything uh you know working on 450 likes on the stream i do appreciate that and if you guys have it on your way out smash that like button if you're new to the channel consider subscribing and i'll see you guys in the next one we're gonna be doing one more stream tonight uh be playing some ghost recon here in probably like 45 minutes so i'll see you guys there peace